I don't know, this movie was just a horrendous piece of sh**. I cannot sit through this ever again. I really like it. I was a big fan. And you know what? I'd love to see more. I would love to see a sequel. I would love to see a sequel to that sequel. What for Wall Street? Fantastic. Wow. Chris uh, Michaels, and uh, we're doing this show, and I'm a little nervous, but I think it'll come out good. Hi, I'm uh, Freddie Gray. We got two other critics here. We got a TV show. We're gonna start filming it today. Yeah. I've never worked with these guys, but sorry, we'll David Rubin. David, where, where you been? I, I'm running late. My wife's gonna divorce me if the show doesn't do good. I'm not making a whole lot of money. Look, at I'm living off of Cheetos. Where? A little small, man. Uh, we gotta go. We gotta go. Show's gonna start in a few seconds. Show's gonna start in a couple minutes. Stay tuned. Hello, welcome to Critics Corner. I'm Freddie Gray, top movie critic, and I'm here with my co-hosts, David Rubin and Chris Michaels. I just, I'm, I'm running a little late, but I'm really excited to be here, because I need this job, because if it fails, my wife's going to divorce me, and the money's already, t I'm living off of Cheetos, I just... Amen. Amen. Cheap, yeah. delicious. Well, I'm excited to be here, uh, it's going to go great, we have over a thousand viewers already, that's, that's fantastic, we're trying to get some more, so uh, keep, you know, tuning in. Well, uh, listen, as soon as you said that, we uh, lost about 20 viewers, so I don't think you should uh, say something like that anymore. Okay. It's, it's not all right. <clears throat> but uh, I think a healthy exercise for us would be to discuss our favorite actors and movies. And I guess I'll start because I'm basically the host of the show. <laughs> uh, my favorite actor is the one and only Robin Williams. He's phenomenal. And my favorite, act my favorite movies that have Robin Williams in them are RV and Night of the Museum. I love Night of the Museum. Anything with Night of the Museum in it is going to be a classic in my eyes. What do you guys have to say? Robin, Robin Williams. Williams. What? what? All time best, world star. What? World class actor. Fantastic. Come He's on. Phenomenal in RV. He's in RV. Oh, that's a great Wasn't movie. You guys have a chat behind movie. my back? And I, you guys I have it on VHS. Having a chat behind your back? We're talking about our movies. RV is a great movie. You guys said it. Yeah, the that is the film of the century. I don't know. Um, Jesus. I just have to discuss my movie of the week. We're each going to do a movie and we're going to go over a movie trailer and that's going to be the show. <clears throat> so my movie of the week is Pulp Fiction. Well, I've heard about this movie from a lot of people and I heard it was very good. I watched it and I could not get into it. Too many no-name actors and actresses. It's quoted by so many people and I, I never know what you know what's going on. So I Decided to check it out, and I didn't like it. And I don't like Bruce Willis. What do you guys think? Yeah, it's bad. It's a bad movie. John Travolta, Samuel L. Jackson, who are these guys? I don't, I don't even know. I don't know them. No, it's I not. don't recognize those names. They're not family names. They're not brand names. They're not any. They're nothing. They're nothing. It's no brand. No brand. It's no brand. No brand? No brand. No brand. It's not Zero my brand. Not my cup of tea. I think what upset me the most about the movie was that Sean William Scott wasn't in it. He's my favorite. He's my favorite actor besides Robin Williams, and so you know it upset me that he wasn't in there. Okay. Yeah. But I think now we should talk about Chris's favorite movie. What's yeah. What's yours? What's your favorite movie? Oh boy, Not mine is movie, uh, but, you know reviews. Yeah, mine is uh, Terror of Tiny Town. It's a oh. movie about midget cowboys. Can you believe this? Sounds fantastic, right? Wrong. It is the worst thing I have ever seen. Oh my gosh. Cinematography horrible. Acting horrible. I've never seen such. In my life, I, how I, can I you don't say that about a classic? You've stomped on it. Negative like it five. Nothing. How can you like it? This is one of the greatest films of our generation. Oh, listen, come with me. Okay, just where are you going? We're just you hey. stay here for a little. Just stay here for a little. What are you doing? I can't do this show by myself. Okay, just wait. We'll be right Who are back. you? Is ruining our show for us. I know. 
we bought this. We bought this show. We bought the network He's with our own money. He is classics. stomping on it. He is taking it and rubbing in the dirt. This is one of the we greatest films of all time, Mike. He's pushing me over the edge already. I know, just by looking at his goofy uh, smile, I can't tell. I can't. It's like blue? What exactly? Is Stop light blue. Light blue. It's light blue. Dark blue looks Listen, good. Listen, you're insulting his thing. Okay, you got Cheetos and Barf all over you. Take it off I now. have two kids. I can't. Take it off. You look like a goof. I don't mind the t-shirt, but we're all, we're all formal here, and you're wearing a t-shirt. That's f Get rid of it. Oh, thanks for showing up. Nice. Sorry about that. Just nice. Just nice. Clean myself up a little bit. Somebody alerted me that I was I wasn't looking my best today. I'm just a little sick just of you talking your <laughs> insulting and classics and things that we love. Um, excuse me. You had your say. Now I have mine. Let's go. Come on. I'll do I'll just sit here and I'll I will do nothing. The bash is so just, you gotta come down. You gotta take it easy. He's I just. Can't, I can't do it. <sighs> he has his right. Do you to see his what opinion. he's doing out there? He has his right to his opinion. He's got a big but mouth. But he is making a mess. His mouth is gigantic. It's absurd. It's pissing me. I can't do so it. Just, just take it easy. And just save for the show. I mean, like Aren't right you now, because your wife's gonna I mean, divorce you. The show is going. I know. I know. I know. Someone bring me my drink, please. Come on. Thank you. Put that down. Just be professional. Ooh, I can do what I want. This was handmade in Italy. Who are you? This. All right. Made enough. by German engineers. Enough chit chat. Let's talk about David's movie. All right. My favorite movie, right here, Alvin and the Chipmunks, three, Chipwrecked. Oh, it's a great family romp. That'll have you screaming, Alvin, all the way home. Did you take your kids to see it? Of course I took my kids to see it. That's a great family film. I like it a lot. Yeah, it's a good movie. Did you just yeah, say no? 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 Eh, it's not. It's like a, it's like a chamomile tea. I, I drink green tea. It's not exactly your cup of tea, but it's our cup of tea. Well, nobody cares. Next movie. We're gonna go to the movie trailer. You wanted to be the hero. Now you gotta pay the price. What happened to your face? It's filthy. I was cleaning the chimney. We have no chimney. What? I don't, I don't know what I thought about that. I don't, I don't really like uh, Spider-Man all that much anymore. I like Spider-Man. I mean, I liked the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man better. That's how I feel. But this is staying true to the comics with his the new goonish attitude. <laughs> See, this is where you both are wrong. Both are I think the new Spider-Man's attitude is phenomenal. I, I enjoy I want to go see this movie. I really do. It was. It's good for a cheesy comic book, but you can't have that kind of attitude. I think in a it's movie. time to wrap up the show, David. Well, what's wrong with you? All right. Well, we're gonna be back next week with more movies, more reviews, and more dramatic twists and turns, right here on Critics Corner. Stay tuned. You have the nerve to talk so much about that movie. You shouldn't be talking. That Take it easy, Go. take it easy. What are you doing? Who are you? Mike Bat? Everything that has gone wrong in this world. Get away, get away from get, me. Get him off. Get him off. Go. Thank you. You're a d Give it. Hello. 
I'm here today to report that movie critic Chris Michaels has been assaulted by Freddie Gray and David Rubin on the set of their show, Critics Corner. Freddie and David were immediately fired and are now living homeless. Can you come again, please? I... I, I've just I've just received news that we have we have live video footage of the two homeless men and we're gonna go to that now. Somebody at that dealership is gonna get fired. I said I wanted the red Porsche, not the yellow one. I What the hell is going on over here? Vincenzo, let me call you back. What are you guys doing? Don't you touch this, this is Armani. should be ashamed of yourselves. <gasps> Freddie and David both refuse to be interviewed and Chris Michaels is nowhere to be found, but we did, we did catch David Rubin's ex-wife, Charlotte Rubin, and she agreed to make a statement. After years and years of saying I was gonna do it, I finally did it. I divorced that ass. I got up and left. I left our home, I left our family life. It was horrible. Now I'm dating Josh, he owns a Pathmark. We live in Short Hills, New Jersey. We drive in a 7 Series BMW extended version. We have lived a beautiful life. We got four kids, John, Luke, John, and John, all from the Bible. Thank you, Jesus, for my beautiful life. God bless. God speed everything. I love Jesus. I'm a big Jesus person. I cannot believe that he made it out in this life. I cannot believe that he got a job. How he got a job is beyond me. That people down there. It's ridiculous. I am so done. Cheers.